Okay, let's solve this equation. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Let's solve it for A. This, of course, is the Pythagorean theorem. So this would be called solving a literal equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get A by itself. So here's A, and I want to isolate A. So notice I'll have to get rid of the squared and the B squared, not in that order. So the first thing I need to get rid of, it's kind of like the reverse of PEMDAS. Remember, PEMDAS is what you do for order of operations. Well, when you're solving an equation, you kind of do it in the opposite order. So I first need to get rid of the B squared because it's being added. And I do that by subtracting. So C squared minus B squared equals A squared. I subtracted B squared from both sides. Now, of course, I just need to get rid of the squared. And how do I get rid of squared? You divide. I don't divide to get rid of squared. How do I get rid of A squared? I take okay. the square root of both sides. That's how I get rid of squared. I take the square root of both sides. And whenever you take the square root, you need to put a plus or minus sign in front of it. So that would be the solution. A equals plus or minus the square root of C squared minus B squared. Let's try another one. All right, here's the perimeter formula. Perimeter equals 2 width plus, whoops, not 2w. Two, 2w two width, two w plus 2l. Two That's the perimeter of a rectangle. So let's solve this for L. So remember, I'm trying to get L by itself. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of the 2 and the 2W. I need to get rid of both of those things. The first thing I should get rid of is the 2W because it is being added to it. So I can't really div I, I, I don't want to get rid of the two, this 2 next to the, next to the L first because um, it's, it would just complicate the problem if I tried to do that correctly. So I'm going to subtract 2w from both sides. And there's my new equation. And now, how do I get rid of the 2? Since it's being multiplied, I divide both sides by 2. And I'll have L on the right side. And I'll have P minus 2w over 2 on the left side. Uh, sometimes if this is a final exam you're taking, they might not have the answer written in this form. They might have the answer written like this. Can you tell me how I got there? How did okay. I get to that answer? You divided each one by two. Very good. I divided each one by two. It's kind of like distri it is distributing. Distributing into the difference in the top. The quotient distributes into the difference. So that when you're taking a final exam you might see or an ACT or something you might see it like that don't be confused those are the same thing alright okay.